All right, so what we got, guys, uh, so we mentioned it earlier, was the Elite Controller. Great accessory. Two things, though, about it. One, is it worth it? Two, what about another one, which is the Scuff Controller? So this... Price comparison, everything next to it yeah. is, is a compare and, and a, a proper compare and contrast. I know somebody else has done it, um, but we're not sponsored by anybody, so that... that it, this is like it's, your it's, true, everyday, three fucking guys. We're your average here. Joes. This is an average Joe. Review, review. and compare between the Xbox We've got different hand elite. sizes here to compare, so we've got normal hands and we got... Uh, Mechanic hands. I, I don't even know. We got... So we got hands and we, we got... Hands. We got... Shake. We got so these are these are hands. This right here is what you call a glove. Oh sweet Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? That was my hand. So here's our honest review. Are you gonna be able to stream tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Look what happened! <laughs> you ruined me. <laughs> All right, guys. Honest review between the Xbox 360 Microsoft branded Elite controller. In the competition of the, I have you can. I feel like since I've played with both whoa, for expensive, did what, you what purposely color coordinate? Actually, no. I just oh, like okay. purple and gray. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I like purple. <laughs> Purple's my favorite color. Um, I feel like I'm gonna spear this. Not me being a prima donna diva, but I've played. I borrowed that from one of our friends when it first came out, and I played with it for like three days. And I've owned a scuff forever and played with scuff forever. So I feel like I'm gonna spearhead this. And then you guys can make your because you guys have played. You play with the elite. Yeah, and I've played you haven't done anything, so it's kind of cool. So you get someone who's played with both overall. Um, you get someone both. who's who's kind of shut up. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Not this one. Shut up. It wasn't purple. Shut your mouth. <sighs> and then we got a gentleman who hasn't played either, but he's going to do a first touch and um, um, uh, 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 comparison, which is be it's kind of cool, uh, especially because he got big ass hand. <laughs> you know. Meat hands. You know what they say about guys who've got like meat fingers, right? <laughs> Instead of two, you need one. Just one. <laughs> How hard is it to pick your nose with those? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, just do two, just to compare. <laughs> it won't go in. Well, well, over the years, right? They, your nostrils would grow to fit around your finger, right? He's got. I'm a. I'm a fan of just saying that to be weird. Right? We're just gonna go right into the awkward. Awkward waters. Uh, Mofo's got fucking the circumference of like a like a fucking carrot that's been in nuclear waste. <laughs> With his and his nose is the circumference of like a jelly bean. So, so it's just it's just in my mind that's what's going through my picture. It's just him trying to get that in there. <laughs> and I know it stretches, but I don't. <laughs> It's, it's like it, it's fun. like it's like the stretching is like trying to give birth stretching quality wise is what I picture that to be. So we're gonna go in uh, awkward water right there. We're just gonna keep swimming. Uh, you know, we're gonna get bit by a shark along the way. I just <laughs> you know go, but that's right. Um, anyway, so go ahead, show them your elite controller. So if you get the elite controller, yeah, it Ooh, will box. come in a box. And it's going to be a, a better case. box than your normal controller. It's not a box, it's in. a case. No, well, I'm talking about the box. This comes inside that box. Who cares about the box? box. Like right outside? It's, if you want to go... This is the Velcro. Yeah. So it doesn't I, matter. I, I don't know where it is. So don't worry about it. This is, this, is, this is what's casing it. Yeah. When you're done playing with it, what do you put it in? Is well, that what you're Yes. Okay. So it comes in a box. It's a better box. It's top. Yeah. It top opens. Yeah. It's a better quality. It's on the couch where I left it. So it's because I'm clumsy. This is the first thing that you see break it. inside when you open it. It's actually a pretty good. It's a soft hard case. Yeah, soft hard. I case. think that's actually the actual term for things it like is, this. Is right? soft, soft hard. I mean, how how does it feel? Like sturdy? Like you could drop it and you'd be fine? Yeah. And the nice thing about that, I mean, soft hard. Nice thing about soft hard is it absorbs a lot of the the, the shock. Obviously, dropping it from a four hundred story building, it's good. From the top of Empire State Building. You've got elite controller from a 400 story building. You've got other problems. Yeah. Or you're sponsored by someone stuff. on a YouTube channel um, who's too. mostly about breaking shit. Um, but like I'm if I'm traveling with this, it's going to yeah. protect it like from pressure. From you know, I can you know it's, it's it a nice sit case. On it. Uh, well, still though, give it to Matt. Uh, what? Because you've never had the case. Everyone's doing the case thing. There you go. Bam. Bam, show. Yep. So, 
It's a clamshell design. You do get an extra compartment up here for like. You should probably put all that stuff so it's not just like dangling at the bottom. For like your battery pack, if you get one of those rechargeable bases and everything else. Uh, extra batteries, batteries, anything too. else like that. He doesn't. Yeah, because so I was surprised that, like, we were, they were just saying this doesn't have a rechargeable battery built in. Because I kind of was kind of thinking that it might. Price. No, and they well, never mentioned it. Has it. Yeah, but once that's dead, I would yeah, true. Then it's a whole other controller. controller. Your bad. The PlayStation batteries die faster than. Well, all right. Let me rephrase that. PlayStation just, Three controller batteries die faster than the PlayStation Three controller itself. PlayStation 4, the only reason why it dies faster than the PlayStation 3 is because the sticks are shit. I don't care what you say. Those sticks are terrible. Are you talking about the mapping videos where you can see that they're actually micro-pulsing? Well, no, I'm talking like I wear the rubber and it, rip, it rips yeah, right it off of the plastic. So, and like, I'm, I'm like, I just got this today. Though? What? No. The other video, they put it on computer tracking system, and the sticks are actually micro-pulsing all the time. That's why your battery also dies quicker. Ha! <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Wow. But anyways, so it comes prepackaged in here. It's got like a little rampy ramp so it sits correctly. As well as you got all your extra knobs and whistles. You got your extra joysticks. These are actually taller than the ones that come on it. You have your... Concave at least. Ra yes. You your your concave and then you get extended convex. And then you got your round tops. Concave. Concave does like this. Yeah. Concave. Convex. Okay. Convex. Whatever. So it's convex. a round. It's a fucking round top. Y'all confused me. I thought I was right the first time when you said. And then I thought, okay, cool. And yeah. your extra deep end, and where you can put your. Yeah. Where you can put your. That's what I thought. But then I thought what you were mentioning. You did it on me, man. <laughs> you like, I was like, man, shit, I had that wrong. So I guess I was wrong. But I was right. But because I thought I was wrong, I still looked like an idiot. So it doesn't. Mean <laughs> Anyways, that. and this is where you can put your extra panels. So it has convex. Uh, Sticks to chip, and that's concave. No. It's convex. Convex is over concave. That's what I'm saying. It has convex. It has. Okay, look. Shut up! So it has convex. Should we look this up? The domes. Once the P it has a PlayStation 3 versions that you can stick in on top of and, and switch it out instead of the convex standard Xbox ones. And then it also comes with the extended con uh, cave ones, which are the P Xbox Wait. ones that you can take on. Um, and also, you show them the D-pad, right? And show them the extra D-pad yeah. stuff like that, too. So, uh, your scuff controller, how do, how do you Well, get we're going to do do all of your control at once, then we'll do all this at once, and then we'll just talk about it, so. Okay. Um, show them the, um... So. So, oh, well, we'll, we'll do that, and then we'll show, like, the, uh, the ability to switch it out. Okay. But that's yeah. what that, so that's what comes Okay, so you The retail price of that is... 150 Well, one forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, Can you be more correct, please? Uh, well, tax is different in certain states. That's why I say one forty nine ninety nine. Okay, well, uh, anyways. Plus tax. So here it is. If it fucking focuses, there we go. So as you can tell, it has your same button layout and everything. But there's going to be a, this extra button in the middle, which is actually programmable. So you can have two different settings programmed to your controller, and you can hot swap based off where this dial is turned. It's also going to have your colorblind button scheme for your buttons. This is the D-pad that comes on it to begin with. It's the f basically the advanced concave advanced D-pad. So you're actually going to be able to get like your combos for Street Fighter and everything that are your sideways and all that. But what? On the back, you got actually far better padding than what's on the white controllers because the white controllers are only this back piece here but this one has it extended all the way out to here yeah, you've also nice. got four paddles that are also programmable yeah. and these green things here are for your hair trigger locks so as you can see this is unlocked they go all the way down locked that's as far as they go so you're definitely going to have the faster trigger pull, faster trigger response, because you're not having to go all the way. So we'll show you. This is unlocked. Locked. So it is pretty drastic. It's halfway. So, And this one's got that removable battery pack in it. But cool. 3.5 millimeter jack, standard jack, your yeah. green colored sync button. 
the micro USB. Just so you don't lose it, so you know where it's at. I like how he's blocking your face out. I'm trying to get it to fall, guys. And it's not focusing. But anyways, it's standard layout, but this one's black and silver. Pretty cool. Cool. Uh, this one here is uh, my scuff controller I just recently got. Uh, so there's that. that forever. What? No, I've been playing with oh, one, but I got a new one. Yeah, scuff controller forever. Yes. And what's the uh, retail price on that guy? Uh, it's one fifty nine ninety nine. That's including shipping because you can't buy it straight from store. It's only a, it's located off state and they ship it to you. Huh. So I can't buy that retail wise. But so I bought this one as close as the price as I could for a um, elite elite control. Cool. So you got your stuff here. Um, I'll explain to you what this gray portion here. Um, custom colors I created, which is gray, black, and purple. Can you change your colors on your elite controller? I don't need to. No, it doesn't come in any other colors. So that's your thing as a customization wise. Obviously, there's your scuff logo right there, right? Um, it's your backside, it's your paddles. Um, the biggest thing, the difference between the paddles is uh, the ones on the center are smaller, the ones on the outside are bigger. These would be the ones you use the majority of time. Nice thing, too, is when um, the way that the size is, it's just easier to slide down and hit these smaller ones with your. If you have so, why fingers. does why do the two on the outside have an axe, but the two on the inside have a headphone? Uh, these aren't axles or sounds. If you are doing specific types of a, um, different types of mapping, which I do not have programmed on this, those do that. Uh, not sure exactly what they are for because I didn't pay for it. Um, but one of these is like headsets. One of these is voices. It's just you're able to control it. Um, oh, so like for chat, you can turn off your headset. Or yeah, if you're able to map it properly or whatever, because um, it comes with weapon remapping, if you pay for it. Um, and how much scuff grips is that? that is something we'll discuss. Okay. Um, so right here, scuff rips. These ones um, are uh, molded for fingers. So when I hold it there, it's uh, I don't know if it's going to show it. We just need to get focus. You son of a bitch. There we go. You can see in the top one. So you can see like if you see where the light's shining, that's where it's like going in. So it's like finger molds. Yeah, finger molds there fits there. Um, it does have trigger stops built in. Significantly shorter than your halfway mark. I mean, it, it could still be wrong. It works. It still feels like halfway. No, oh, yours is halfway. This one's shorter. I is it halfway? Mm -hmm. This one actually is less. This one actually has less pull than that one does, because it responds at that speed. That's a lot significantly less. Um, so we'll go into the customization behind it. So with your Elite controller. Oh wait, mind. I forgot to mention this one still has the uh, impulse. Vibrate and triggers. Mine does triggers. The the impulse triggers. Okay. Mine does too. Yeah, because because yeah. reasons. Reasons. Um, cool but, thing. So, right. So the lead controller. When you want to change your sticks, you literally just go off. Right, slides right off because it's magnetized. If you hear it. And they're so, pretty good magnets. Like they're threaded but magnetized at the same time. So there click. is there is no way. That they're being shaken off or like messed with and everything. If you threw that through the screen, I would laugh so hard. They need to buy me a new model. I would. Um, but yeah, so they, it doesn't come off. Um, they're pretty. They're on there sturdy. Yeah, I was really impressed when I had uh, my Elite for a little while. Um, so again, switching it out. Got a nice little tray. Let's say if I'm like, you know, listen, short one for my movement speed doesn't matter. You know, I want to do a longer one. The reason why you do a longer one um, is because with higher sensitivity with the extended stick you have on the ability to and it's about double the size yeah for the same effort you can control your aim a little bit more so you can have your stuff set up to a higher sensitivity and still have that more precise aiming so if you have that problem where you can't with the short stick you have that you have that less it's area jittery right because well you have less area right so you down lower right to get from point a to point b it's a lot less effort whereas if it's extended Right, it's just science, right? So from there to rotate it over to here to get to the same location for your stick to respond, it, it takes more effort to do it. In doing so, it's easier to control your stick on a higher sensitivity to how to aim. Yeah. That's why people have extended ones. Um, a lot of trick shotters, all of the guys who use a lot of sniper rivers prefer the extended ones um, when it comes to that. So it's simple as that, right? Again, um, easy to click, easy to come on. Again, you have that quick customization. So if you're like, yeah, for shooters, I want to do that, but for me, when it does racing time, I don't care for that. You can literally just one, two, three it, which is pretty sick. 
Um, the Same scuff the controller. Oh, I know I'm doing my that time. Oh, okay. I didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. That's why I said I was going to spearhead this. Oh, okay. Give me this shot. guy, right? Do you want to feel the extended stick on it? Sure. There you go, yeah. So you got yeah, your first touch impressions of how you like the extended portion of it. There you go. Um, some people get these things. Uh, um, the extensions, they're called a... Uh, God, what are they called? Um, you can... The, there's a, a company that originally came out with it for 360 PS3 back in the day. Madcats? Mm -mm, some a company outside. It's a, it's a their own company created sticks. You can do that. You can buy them too for your current ones. Um, it's considerably nicer. So, right, so you can have that extra extension. Um, so the scuff controller, right? Um, so they actually added it, added their own version to it beforehand, right? So this always comes with it beforehand. They give you this key here, so it's slightly different. They're not magnetized or locked in. Um, literally, it's just a quick twist. I can pull the stick out, grab it out of the stick, and place it in. Problem is, though, again, is that, again, this is the benefit of the Elite controller. It comes with it. Scuff controller for, almost, for 10 bucks more. Because of shipping, um, I do not have the accessories. Now, to purchase the accessories for the sticks are $14.99. You can get concave, convex extensions um, form as well. Um, and they come up with some different style grips on them as well. If, if you oh, prefer it that way, I apologize. That is shaky. Um, stick it back on, twist it clockwise, locks it back in. It's locked in there for good. Um, so it's still pretty quick. That one's the quickest, right? But it's significantly not that much bigger of a deal, really. Just a to lock it versus snapping on up. It's, like, obviously that's the easiest one, but to be honest, it's it's not really that big of a deal in comparison. There's some other stuff that's a little bit different later that's a huge well, difference. Look at this, I'm flicking it, like, super hard, too. And it's not coming up. Please don't show us what you do in the bedroom. <laughs> Appreciate that. <sighs> Same size. Um, so, <laughs> right now, again, Dude, your D-pad... Your D-pad has the ability to, the D-pad comes with an extra standard one, right? So you, again, this is magnetized, straight magnetized in, again, just comes in, right? Nice thing about it is it comes with that standard D-pad here, right? You can just magnetize. It's super quick, super easy, and it's sturdy. Uh, Scuff comes with their own version of the circle. Again, though, cost extra. Yep. Um, I think it's like five bucks extra. It's actually not a lot, but I, how, I don't how need it. does that it. one come off? Um, it actually Same stays way? on. And the other one fits right over it. Really? You just pull it on and off. And it's super sturdy. So it doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, it's just it's just a key. They call it a key. And literally fits over it. And it gets the same quality. So, um, don't have my own to really compare it to it. Because, again, it costs extra. We're trying to, I'm trying to do a comparison closest to the two with it. Um, so, all right, now moving on again. So, show them how quick and easy it is to switch your trigger hairs, your hair triggers. That's what they call hair triggers. Changed. Changed. Right, super easy. Me, not so much easy. Um, they they had what I believe was supposed to be this piece of metal. You screw it in, was changing it. I don't know if they messed mine up or if I'm doing it incorrectly. I'm going to look that up. But in order for me to get rid of this trigger here, because this already has it built in on the grip, I have to pop my whole grip portion off and place on the standard grip that came with it in order to get rid of it, which takes some time. Um, you are able to change it in between games. It's really just a few seconds. Um, but again, simplicity wise, that one has it, um, over me just having to physically, because again, this will be me trying to be careful about ripping off my, uh, what, be. what they send you is this little high tech spatula thing, spatula, that's yeah, right, you focus on this shit. Focus it kind of looks like a tiny beard comb. Um, take it, fit it in between the cracks for starting from top. Just go down until it pops off and just go there. So it's that easy, literally, just to replace it with another one. Again, it's not as easy or quick. Oh, it does a nice little cleanup from your skin. Oh, yeah. There you go. But So the difference between the two, again, so that's how low that one goes. Uh, that's literally how that low that one goes. Difference. But yeah, so I mean, it's it's it takes a few seconds more. That one's a lot more simplistic, right? Don't need a tool. Uh, so that one definitely has it up. Yeah, now this one's harder. You just got pull hard. You feel like you're gonna break it, but you're not. What happens if you break your tool? Then you're fucked. You just do your fingers, but I have thin Japanese fingernails that 
Oh, the incident. You can't do that. You probably do it. You, well, I don't know. You probably couldn't grip it. You just back. Let's give him a hard time. Um, just squeeze it hard enough it'll pop off. Yes. Paddles. On there. So you got your two U's. Which fingers? Middle and ring finger. So, normal controls. Finger, finger. Two in the pink, one in the stink. Right. Yep. And that's it. One on the stank, two on the pint. Um, so again, that's where your fingers. Uh, skip control wise. Boom. Triggers the buttons. You can use two if you wanted to, which is your your fingers and your middle ones as well. You can set it up that way. But really, it's meant just for your two middle fingers to hit that way versus your two here. Um, show them what you can do with the paddles. So if you only want two paddles. Let's do this one. Yeah, if you just want two paddles, literally you just pull it towards yourself, comes out, another one comes out. And now, just yeah, two. Just two. Or, you can even take these guys. Okay, I'm just going to do it real quick. This guy can't take shit off there. And now I've got two long. On one side. Or you can do one on each side. Yeah. Or one I on wouldn't each do side. two on one side. I'd rather yeah, do two. Looks funky. And actually, it, it, to be honest, it seems like it would be funky, but too long on one side feels really nice for me. But again, it's that customization yeah. you're comfortable with. But yeah, I'd rather use one finger each response time. Keep my fingers resting on them. Um, you can't That's take your paddle. You can take your paddles off, but again, in order to do that. Slide it off. No, this this one's too easy to click. Right. Slide it off. Um, there's pieces in here I just got to push in because they're in there good. Um, the little holes. You push them in, you can release your paddles. So if you, it, it's again not as simplistic, but be, customi customizing one. I actually haven't tried it before. I don't really want to try it now because it could be a bitch to push it out. Um, but yeah, it's just it's a tab in there. Press it down, pull it out. So you pull it out and slide a new one in. So if your paddles wear out, so his are metal. The things the nice thing about it, his are metal. Odds of them really wearing out, not so much. These ones are a tough plastic, right? And you're pushing on a tension paddle. Sooner or later, these could wear out. Hopefully before the actual button pressing does. Um, and if so, that happens, you can order replacement ones. If you happen to lose or break one of the metal pads, which would be crazy, you broke a metal pad. <laughs> you play that too hard. But let's say you lose a metal pad. Can you get those? Can you get individual pieces replaced? Yeah. Yes, you can. You can just buy individual paddles. If you want more long ones, like you want to do like the other one, too long and too long, or all of them short, you can buy them individually. Can you? Yeah. I haven't seen that yet. Where do you go? Microsoft Store. Dot com. Okay, there you go. You can do the same thing. They send you once. If you want two small ones, two axe handle ones, you can have them send you new ones, uh, and they'll help you. So uh, again, you could do double axe handles on both sides, so they're both pretty big if you want it that way. So, battery. Both don't come with any batteries. So right here, I have my own rechargeable battery, lithium ion. That one does not come with its own battery as well. Both run on double A's. You could buy chargeables. Um, again, this one does not come with a hole in order to do a charging station on, due to the fact that the way that they product their paddle system, they create their own back. They create a brand new back on it for the paddle, so that won't work, whereas his will to do the chargeable ones. I don't personally like stand ones. It's all preference. I Me, mean, I prefer ones I can just plug straight in. Right, I can plug straight in. But it's nice if you're just done, you got a nice holder for your controller, you can put it there to charge anyways. But um, I'm lazy and I wouldn't do it anyways. <laughs> so I would still have to end up using my charging cables. So, um, next thing, uh, show them how easy it is to click a paddle on that one. No, no. Okay, okay, hang on. Can't see it. Yep. So here, let me just show you the sensitivity. Well, hang on. He's never played with them, so he can play with them. I was gonna show the paddles and then have him do his paddle comparison afterwards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me again spearhead this. <laughs> well, we we Jesus should get like Christ. something that's weighted here. Use one of these because they're different weights, and you can see which one will click based off the weight. We're not, okay. <laughs> the amount of weight, I, so this is how, uh, I'm trying to get a good comparison of how far in it takes to click a paddle, which would be, 
So, I don't know. We'll have... Can you can you focus this, please? Um, to click a paddle in for this one, Damn. the amount of tension. So if you watch it my finger... More, more in frame. The amount of tension it takes to click a paddle on this one is that. That's clicked in. That's clicked in. Clicked. Clicked in. That's how easy it is to click that in. Weight wise, it's super easy. Like, I wonder if, like, if the weight of your bullet could do it. That's what I'm saying. No. Well, what about the 40 round? Playing with live ammo and all. I do, because we're men. Are there goods? Yeah, there are goods. Display. Display. So can I just pull, you know, the. You can. No, it doesn't click it. Oh. Weight of the controller, though, um, comparison to, they're about the same. Um, this one might be slightly heavier, but even still, the weight of it has it clicking in already. Um, clicking on this one, how it works is this one has teeth. If you see the teeth right there, how it works is there's buttons right there, the little buttons right here. Right? So, pushing a button in uh, takes. Uh, it's a considerable amount of force. Yeah, so it's a little bit more. I would say double, because the other one's so Maybe sensitive. triple. Um, it's so minuscule, though. There we go. Wow. There she is. So that's how. Since it is to click that in, right? It does take a lot more force. Even the weight on the controller uh, will not push one of the buttons in for me. It's really hard to uh, really hard to balance it on it, but so where where are the buttons for your paddles? Are they at the like the end of the paddles? Where yeah, your buttons at the are? end of it. But I can even hit higher up if I need to. So the buttons for the elite are, and this will be perfect to show you guys, right there. They're right... Oh, fucking focus. Come on. I don't think it'll focus. It will. I gotta get rid of my head. Are right there. And that's for all of them. So they're... It's super right sensitive. at the back. Because he, he's gonna have the final stance on a lot of stuff. That's why I want him to, like, experience everything in both at once. Yeah. You're in He's in great mitts, man. This is, <laughs> this is our control subject right here. Right. Well, I mean, well, I wouldn't say control because his hand size is different. He's got a significant hand size different than I've seen a lot of people actually, um, of his of his height. Um, the people, the only person I've ever seen have hands that thick are my friend who's six foot eight and is tank. So he, I've seen I can't, him eat people. Now, can can your stuff sc scuff controller switch between program settings? No. So that's another thing too. It does not have the program setting. It's literally just that. But program settings for sensitivities. Um, that's very advanced. Uh, majority of people I know will not use that. But the fact that it's there still one ups the fact that you can't do that with scuff. Um, grips compared? Grips compared. This one does have grips as you well? You can, yeah. So both have grips. This one stops here, but I can pay to have the whole thing gripped. How much? Which extra? Had the one? That one's like $15 extra. So it's significantly extra. more to get anything close to that. Anything besides the actual quickness of it, um, with the extra grips, the extra padding on it. The extending extra accessories, you're probably looking at almost about 200 bucks. So it's about 50 bucks more to get anywhere near that, minus the fact that the only difference is, is the switching, the button switches. You still can get your hair trigger, so we're actually going to ignore that. Just really the two setting here, um, and then the programming that the Microsoft has specifically meant for that. To get, yeah, is what the only thing that the scuff cannot have. But you are going to pay about 50 to 60 bucks more to have almost the exact same accessibility products as that one will. Now, um, Kaz and I, what are you doing? We're trading. So now we can doing? see which one we like out of the two. Um, so again, for so we're going to go me and Kaz, and then we're going to have the final guy who is, again, never played with any of them. Um, I wish we had more time, because what I was going to have him do is play two different games, or play the same game and just have him use the buttons, see which one he felt better, an actual usage of it. Would have been nice. Um, we're running out of time here. <laughs> So out of the That'd two, we can do that. The two. We just gotta stream it. No, we take a break. Go sync up. Turn on siege. You connect with. It'll take too long. Play. I got, I got too much time. I gotta go minutes. stream, bro. I gotta stream. I gotta stream Twitch. Fuck y'all. I gotta stream. Um, me personally. 
Um, when it comes to programming and customization and ability just to do it so simplistically, uh, this controller wins, uh, hands down. Accessibility wise, just being able to go down to your store and buy it, right now, no. No. Did you you have a better chance of getting a scuff controller than you are one of these really right now, currently. Yep. Six months down the road, maybe not even that long, maybe like three months down the road, I once after holiday time. After, after Christmas. February, February. Yeah, January, you, yeah, January you still miss a mid, lot of products. Mid, mid January. Because you get a lot of stuff. Yeah, because you got people gift cards and they buy a lot. Okay, will you will you feel comfortable enough if you walked into a, to a store stock, and you'll see it? But I bet you anything come January first they're at Microsoft. Microsoft for sure. Yeah. 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 Um so in a little while, right now, no, but in a little while, being literally able just to walk into a store and grab it that day if you want it, yes, this is, it's a higher. Uh, this one, no. I had to wait two weeks to get my scuff because they have to they hand build them uh, and then they send it out and stuff like that. They test them and everything, make sure everything's good. So they go through, and the reason why that is is they hand build them, they go through a lot of actual testing, make sure all the products is working, all the buttons, because again, with the hand building, right, hand soldering, you gotta make sure your programs work, um, and make sure nothing's messing with any other stuff in it. So again, uh, this controller, I mean, in fact, I am floored at the quality of this controller, minus, yeah, just floored in the quality of this controller, absolutely, incredibly well built, except for one thing, I personally think the paddles are absolute horse shit, which, kills it for me personally like triggers or whatever you know those things they're not game changing significantly like the only thing there's the only thing you'll notice a difference in on call of duty black ops 2 right now is just the pistol everything else has a certain amount of burst rate of fire even the single shot version of the fal that they have can't remember what it's called i think it's like uh, uh it's a female name uh uh sure. shiva it's the shiva Shiva coming to Sova. Huh? Um, the Shiva. Was that Jewish? It's from the league. Um, it's a thought, TV show. You wouldn't know. Because I thought Shiva was like a <laughs> Buddhist god. It is, and that's the joke behind it. Ah. But then, then it's got a weird Jewish song behind it. It's improv. Don't worry about it. It's from a TV show. You're not man enough to know about it. Um, it's the league. You don't even know football. The league. Oh, I'm mm. thinking of the guild. No, the league. Um, yeah. See, nerd. I'm just kidding. I love the guild. <laughs> The Shiva is only you can't pull it faster than it'll allow you to shoot. Um, that's the thing of the difference between that one and the FAL. The FAL you could shoot slightly faster if you could pull it fast enough. Um, the Shiva only shoots at a certain amount of rate. So you can literally pull it as fast as you want, but it'll only shoot to like a certain rate. Don't so look at yourself, look at the camera. I like to look at it. Like I'm looking, I don't know. I should probably look more at the camera. <laughs> yeah, because you're guess. talking to the audience. You're Not looking at yourself, looking at I'm yourself. I'm totally spaced out looking at the Well, <laughs> I'm so used to looking at my thing on my computer because my camera's right there, so it looks like I'm looking at it. Right. Um, so again, so... Oh, so you're saying you don't pay attention? Well, because I'm reading chat. <laughs> so when I respond to the chat, I'm like reading the chat, I'm reading it right there. It looks like I'm looking at him. The... Paddles. Paddles are why you buy this controller. Simple as that. 75% of the reason why you buy this controller is for these. The rest 25%, I get made up this, but really, the majority reason why you buy this is for these. Not for these. Not for these. They're like extra. There's just, it's just icing on a cake. And for me, the icing is so much sweeter. This has the best icing I've ever tasted. But when I actually take a bite of the cake, I don't enjoy it at all. Me, icing is, eh. Yeah, I've had better icing, but it's not terrible icing. It's okay icing, but the cake, oh, the best tasting cake I've ever had in my life. So moist and perfect and awesome, and it's these. That's why I buy scuff is for the paddles. I buy the scuff for that specifically. Another thing too, you only get one flavor of cake. It's vanilla. Always vanilla. Always will be vanilla. Look at vanilla. Always flavored. I can get different flavors of this cake. Strawberry, chocolate, whatever. I want it to look like grape. Grape. Great soda. It could happen. Regular Coca Cola. And still, regular Coke is fantastic. The, and again, if so, let's say money is no object, you can literally get everything that this. <laughs> it's just because it's glass. It's not that bad. It's, it's a glass top. It just sounds worse than it is. Uh -huh. You can literally get. Any accessory on this, the ring, the extended sticks, anything you can you want, you can get on the scuffs for ha for a heftier price. About 50, 60 bucks, you can get everything on it. So it's about 50, 60 bucks more. Um, Out of curiosity. Yes. 
the scuff come with a warranty. Yes, it does. And at pass that warranty, they repair your scuffs too for even cheaper. Okay. That's the thing too. You ship them out though, you got to pay for the shipping and then whatever parts is need replaced. So like, let's say you wear your, pa your, your actual things out. So again, once these paddle buttons are done, because these buttons will wear out, they will. You're, you're done, you have to buy another $150 controller. Or you take it to the Microsoft store. I was like, do they do repairs now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do repairs. On that one? Perfect. Uh, well, that's probably to be determined. I mean, there's probably not enough of those on the market. Yeah, currently someone too. hasn't, they haven't worn them out yet to need yeah. repairs. Yeah. But I would out. imagine that you would be able to take it to a Microsoft store and they will fix it. Because you can do that with what, Have you even confirmed? So you're, what you're saying is that they do repairs is just, you're hoping that they do repairs is not confirmed yet that He's they repair speculating. it. Okay. You, but they will, I speculate. They will no. fix your controllers I if they I speculate, yes. Because if they will fix your regular controller... Like oh, they you know, fix your regular controller? Yeah, you're going to pay money for it, but it's like any kind of repair shop. You're going to pay to have them fix it. All right, we'll see We'll see the, how much it costs. But this one I know, they'll repair whatever it is, and uh, you just got to pay for whatever piece that they have to repair. So it's only for the it piece. It's not for labor or anything? Well, you pay for the labor of the piece of it, right, okay. too. But, like, you know, like, it's not, like, a set price, like, 50 bucks. It could be cheaper, depending on, like... Oh, that? Okay, bam, bam, done. Because they've already hand-built everything, just replacing whatever is in here. I've actually took apart my old scuff because I wore the buttons out, and it was past its warranty, and I didn't know they did repair. So I was just trying to see if I can fix the buttons in there. They've changed the button schemes. They didn't do more because I think the old ones were slated at a million clicks uh, per button. This one's slated to be at, like, two-plus million clicks per button, so they doubled it, or so, that I, I believe. Um, so that's the thing, too, is... Another thing is to see which one wears out more. It's really hard to say, though, because one person could play more than the other person. One could have heavier button pressing than somebody else does. So, but, um, again, if, if you do have issues with this controller at all, um, <laughs> um, you can I can ship it out and have it repaired. Um, I can also get different color grips and change my color grips on it. Um, and then I can also get different color rings and change my rings on it, too. Um, the only thing I can't change with this button because I don't have to open it up. But by the again, they have the warranty sticker right there, so you can't mess with it. Let us all know. But yes, there's a warranty on your stuff. Um, but again, easy accessible. So overall, the Elite controller would have it hands down, except for the main reason why you would buy it. Again, the reason why it's, I give the the skip controller my stamp of why I would get it over the Elite controller is the buttons. Again, great icing. Not enough cake enough for me to want it. Wish the icing was a lot cheaper, but the cake in there is fantastic. And so for me, the base of that is the buttons. I think the scuff buttons are better made. I feel like I, when I played hours on the Elite controller, I hit those buttons accidentally all the time, where it cost me deaths during a raid on hard mode, cost me deaths. Whereas playing a shooter, it costs me kills. Um, I have not come across that with my scuff controller. Zero times have I accidentally hit a button. Zero times. But again, that's pers that's your... I have a heavy hand. I know I have a heavy hand. Because of that reason. So, that's why it's scuff controllers for me. Some of you may find out that you have like a feather hand. Like a, like a fairy hand. Not saying anything towards that. But I mean just like a light, la 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 hand. Right? Just, I'm not looking at the just, camera. Just light hand. <laughs> light hand, right? The Elite controller would be perfect for you. And that would be awesome. But for me, it really depends on your paddles. If you know you have a heavy hand, and you know you wear controllers out, you're going to want to scuff, uh, scuff paddles because they click with force. You have to have force with it. You have to mean to hit it, which is good. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's my girlfriend. Frick her! <laughs> All right, so with that being said, we're going to now turn it over to Mr. Uh, Cleanish. Like, he's, he's touching him a little bit, but he's really going to handle him out. I'm gonna handle, we're going to let him handle it out. Which one do you want to touch first? Well, what about, I didn't give my say. Oh, that's right. God, I got to skip <laughs> over my Cass, give her, I'm a, I don't care. I'm on, I know I'm on video. I'm going to just text while you do it. Do your say. <laughs> Holy I need to tell. No, I need. No, it's my girlfriend. I respect her more than Kaz ever. <laughs> just it's relationships. You have. It's because I don't suck his dick. He doesn't. <laughs> I've tried multiple times to get him to. He doesn't pay me enough. So one thing that we did forget to mention between the two is that 
even though there is padding on the back, this controller is also coated in, like, some kind of grippy material. Well, not to mention it's aluminum. Like, it is, right? Like, I'm not crazy? Yeah. Like, it's coated in a grip? Up top? Yeah. It's smoother, actually, on top than this one. Yeah, but if you, like, feel it with, like, your nail, it, it is, like, a different material. Mm-hmm. So. It's smoother. It's, it's, oh, it's like a... It's really weird. It's a... It's hard to describe it. It's like a soft, hard plastic. I don't know how this goes. Though I haven't actually played with these, uh, the one thing I do know from doing some research, basic research, metal body, still plastic body. Oh, so yeah. For what your controller, benders, tweakers, keep that in mind. Chuckers. Yeah, chuckers. So, yeah. That, it, that puts a hole in your wall that breaks a controller. With a dent. Hole in the wall can actually be more expensive than a controller sometimes. So. But That's true, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. That one is that one's heavier. Um, you can definitely feel it. it's not significantly heavier, but it will do I mean, some damage, we, bro. Yeah. So bro, we, like no TVs. Like if someone tried to rob me and hit him in the back of the head, <laughs> I know I can knock him out with that elite controller. So yeah. So just a little <laughs> feeling between them because this is the full metal body. This one feels sturdier than this guy. This guy feels like it's a regular plastic controller. Um, but is that like the first gen plastic controller or the second gen plastic? Controller? It feels like first gen. Well, it is a second gen plastic but, yeah, though. It is second gen though. It is second it's gen. It's got the but, three millimeter jackal. But it's three point five. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Well, no, the, 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 these are two different materials. So. No, no, it's painted. That's why you're feeling different. It, Don't scratch it. <laughs> it's painted though. Like no, no, it's already no, no, slightly listen, coming no, up. Listen, it's the same material though. I know, but it's painted. It's going to sound different. Once. Oh my god. And I, it feels like the the material here for me and here are two different materials. Because this is painted. I'm just... The personal opinion, man. I didn't talk over you when you were doing your thing. No, I know, but don't say dumb shit. But anyways. <laughs> so... <laughs> I will... Ah, stupid opinion. Yeah, but it's wrong. <laughs> hey, it sounds like two plus two is five is the opinion. Yeah, but it's wrong. No, that's fact. No, 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 it's not fact. It's painted. No, you can 2 plus 2 paint. equals 4 is oh, fact. No, I said 2 plus 2 is 5, is in my opinion. Anyways. But it's not right. So, everything Joe said, I completely agree with. That oh, accessories, so nice. everything else, the buttons, the layouts, the construction, the fact, the ease of access for all so of it nice. is Super nice. perfect. The extra programmability to where you can have one setting for your FPS and your playing, and then you switch over to Forza Horizon and you can swap over and now you're in your driver settings and you just change a controller. You just change a stick. Unlock your, unlock your triggers and everything's And fine. you're done. And it's easy. Flip, now I'm for race. Yeah. Flip, now I'm for shooter. Super, for me, personally, nice the cake on this guy's the best. You can argue that. Because you really like those. I can't believe I I, I love them because I so, like Thank you. Just the quick press because I usually sit with like a loose grip. So, Jay yeah, does his boyfriend would know. <laughs> Edit that, say it again. I have such say it, say it with such a loose grip. Just go. What are you gonna say this time? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> professional face on nothing for real. So, professional on no, I wouldn't say. So yes, the cake on this guy is absolutely fantastic. The, like I said, because I have like to play with like a loose grip, it's just easier for me to just like quick press and not really worry about you know hitting them accidentally. And the fact that it is easier to change them is a big plus for me, because for this guy and like the other, the other scuffs I've played with, I just don't. I'm not a fan of if I want to use two, I've got to play with one higher and one lower. Granted, that's how you have to do it there, but it's more like in... Ergonomic. It's more... Ergonomic. No, it's not It's not really ergonomic. Yes, it's it just... It's ergonomic has. Well, if it was ergonomic, then they would both be all the way down here where your fingers sit. It's more... feels like it's contoured to the controller. So you hold your controller like this? Yeah, because when I play, if I'm not using triggers or paddles... I'm like this. But the paddles are here, so it just feels like it's more tailored to the, just the shape of the controller, so it's not too weird of a transition. Now, if I was going to go here, since I usually play like this, that's a move for me. 
or even just to shift up that high, it just feels different. Sure. And I do feel like the button presses, you you literally have to mean to do this. There, that. There's no, like, oh, quick reload. Just quick press. It's, mm. well, reload, used to reload. No, I mean, granted, issue. yeah. I don't. I Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't. I, I have such a heavy button hit. I, I don't. I, I'm able to. I'm like, I'm zero to full instantly. Like, I don't have that nice sensitive touch. Um, ladies. I... <laughs> But the thing too, though, going back to that, um, two things: you're always going to use these. These are A and B. X and Ys do not happen that often. A again, this is reload and swap weapons, right? A and B, those are your, your main weapons. But again, like for for you, like you said, you never had your fingers down here. Yeah, right? like you mine, had your fingers like mine, on this controller. Mine usually sit like this, so going to that is not that big of an issue. I have always had my fingers out here in the center, but it, it's weird. I've had that ever since I played the Super Nintendo. When you play the Super Nintendo controllers, always yeah, have fingers Z underneath, in the middle. and I've always, and then the PlayStation controllers, right? They had the huge handles, but the middle, I always had my fingers centered on the back. My so middle finger was always the like that. The 360, what I had to do because of the battery, battery I would have it out here in the center, literally touching the battery pack. Hmm. My fingers would be gripping the side of that battery pack, like this part would be hitting my battery pack instantly, and it's because I'm so heavy. That I needed that, and I felt like I needed that. So that's why, like, the buttons were right where my fingers were. And so for me, like, switching to scuffs, like, button, it's, it's my fingers sat right on top of them instantly. But, like, th this is perfect. Cause but, yeah, but that's your, again, that's your preference. It's, you got two, you basically have two different play styles, two different grips that basically show, depending on really how you play. And wild card. How one outside left field. How your hands are will Very determine, left basically, field. which one you want. I mean... Until you really get your hands on them, we're just letting you know what we say. So, your best option would be find a friend or a couple people on the internet who have both and ask to borrow them. Best case scenario. Best case. Or come over and play. Right. Craig's listening. <clears throat> you got a scuff controller, let's play and smoke weed. I don't know. That's smoke that, weed every day. <laughs> that would probably work, and then you can try it out. <laughs> but. You know, so, freak it. We're going we're gonna, to... Once we have, once he holds him here, we're gonna go take a ten minute break. We're gonna have him go play with him for a few minutes and come back. So go ahead and touch it. So, so, you, so, you first, so first impressions of in the hands. Yeah. So first impressions in the hand. Without the extra grips, it would feel very much standard Xbox One controller because I don't normally feel the paddles where I hold. The paddles are nowhere near my finger. I have to move like as. I'm the wild card. I fly RC planes, I fly quadcopters, so I don't have a heavy hand, even if I have big hands, I still have a fairly light touch, so that's enough of a click, that that's hard for me just to think of, click really quick, just get it done, whatever control it needs to be. Also, wild card, my fingers are too goddamn big. For the tiny ass little paddle back there. Yeah, the small paddle in the center is better. And that he could get the axe paddles too. I do like the hair triggers on the scuff a little bit better. Smaller trigger pull means I can do it quicker. Referring some games, some games are super trigger sensitive. You know, in Destiny, you cannot have trigger stops on it. You have to pull the full trigger on Destiny. Really? Yeah. Some games, Call of Duty, no. Halo, no. Except for when you're charging, you might need it. So if you're charging hmm. it, but again, trigger stops so you would need to have full, not even this halfway mark on this will let you pull the trigger all the way full. You have to have zero trigger stopping on your Elite controllers and your Scuff controllers. You have to have full trigger. Destiny's weird. It's the first shooter I've ever played where it's every really single weird. gun is the full pull of the trigger. Like if you slowly pull, like if you get a hand cannon with the hammer on the back of it, if you slowly pull your trigger, you can see the hammer on the, the gun. So they come out. So like the new the raid gun you get in Destiny from yeah uh, the raid hand gun yeah it has a hammer on the back. If you pull the trigger slowly, the hammer's like yeah. I've noticed so that. when I'm bored, I'll click it slightly. So the hammer's like <laughs> on my screen. I'm like it's the exact noise I make when I do it. Overall, I can see the advantages of a scuff. I really can. Uh, I think it's again personal preference. Whoever mm -hmm. buys them, it's all about you. They make them custom for a reason. Uh, the color combos are really cool. I won't lie about that. The black and silver, I mean, come on, it's black and silver. It always goes together. But the ability to be like, oh, no, that's that purple controller's mine. Don't touch it. Whatever. I have other people that use my Xbox every now and again. 
per against my wishes sometimes. Bastard. So just put a code lock on it. Yeah, I should, right? Um, that controller probably will get hidden a lot. <laughs> just go home with it. Uh, there's that custom controller. Oh, yeah, our buddy paid so, that. So, Scuff, overall, I give it 8.5 out of 10. I really do like it. Yeah, I you see her. sticks out. What was this? Huh? This cake. You wore this one out. Yeah, cake on this one. It's good cake, but it's not my favorite cake. Sir. This guy, done my research. I have been planning on buying one. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe not. He could totally be nice. It's your, it's your opinion. That's the beauty I do it. like... How quick this is. Super nice. Just to quick, just get it done. No problems, no questions. When I hold this, you know my fingers are on them. I get my lower fingers for my lower battles and my upper fingers for my tops. Works perfect because when I play, I actually... Best gaming seat in the world. 04 Windstar Captain Seat from the middle row. Hmm. I guarantee it. It has wheels too, so you can move it. Yeah. Uh, sit there, armrest, you can lean back, it's nice. And I keep my fingers hovered at all times in the back. So these paddles shouldn't be an issue for me. Longer stick, perfect. I'll have to play with it to see if I like the dial. I don't know. It, it's from like mm, that's fighters. Yeah. That's why you won't, you won't, you, you'd rather use the directional yeah. pad for, for anything because you're selecting something which everything's up, down, left, right. Except you do the pads, what? Unless I play uh, Elite Dangerous. Which one's in that one? The Flight Simulator. The Space. Uh, oh, yeah. Because that thing has so many goddamn settings. Yeah. Then yeah. that's where that circle pad's good. I was like, that might be where that comes in, and that will be what allows for the quick change. And then you, you like playing something Mortal, to playing that. Mortal Kombat. Right. And again, Scuff really has a quick change, game. but again, it's like an additional like five, six right. bucks. And I didn't buy because I'm like, I don't use this. Except for when I'm selecting classes. Is the only time I use it. It's because I'm like, I want to go up and down. And I love playing video games. I don't have too much of an issue spending money on certain things, but I have too many expensive hobbies. And looking at two hundred plus dollars for a scuff versus one forty nine flat rate, this is easier to think of jumping into this and learning. If I don't like it, I could probably sell it for a decent price or return it. That or return it. Where you go from, and possibly get a scuff if I need that more. So, this is my winner. You can return this, but you got to pay the shipping. That that is your winner for first impressions and first overall. impressions. Yes. Now we're Thinking. gonna we're gonna Game go play. That'll be we're gonna go find out. Learn. Let's go play. Be right back. So Tell you, baby. So we did a play test, both using both controllers playing Battlefield Four. So, what did you think? Um, overall, like the Elite controller probably the most. Uh, paddles are still something to get used to. It's new control. You're not gonna be used to it when you first get it. Right. We had to watch him. Yeah. <laughs> um, Stop using the buttons, big Matt! Issue, big issue is hair triggers, actually. Uh, found out carbines, probably LMGs, SMGs, work fine with the hair trigger on. Sniper rifles in Battlefield, however, do not work with the hair trigger lock set. So, regarding that, if you had the scuff and you had the hand guards on and you weren't able to mess with your hair trigger real quickly... That's going to be a bit of a pain joining a game. You're going to have to realize that before you do it. Then um, you're never running the sniper class. Because it doesn't work. Well, you can do it in vehicles, so you might as well not even have your hair, you, even with the Elite Controller, to want to switch it. Yeah. I guess you could do that, too, if you're like, all right, for this class, I'm going to do it. It's kind of nice being able to switch back yeah, and just, forth. And see, but that's also the thing, is that that's literally right there. And if you really did think about it, like, you're like, oh, shit, I want to be a sniper, you can click it down with one finger, and right. then you're fine. Or, I'm mean, clicking up is obviously considerably harder just because it's close to the paddle. For sure. But just a that quick swipe. alone is much nicer for that fact. I agree. Uh, we found out that Destiny does not support the hair trigger whatsoever. So, again, if you were playing a game, you had hair trigger on, boom, you switched over, or you switch pads. It's dependent on what you want to do. I mean, if you like the scuff more and you're willing to switch your grips in order to get your hair trigger or whatever it is you have to do since we're not 100% on that. Yeah. But it's your choice. Um, paddles in here, I started using them more towards the end than initial. The paddles on the scuff, I found a little bit more difficult to get myself to use because they're a little bit more foreign. One of those things, personal preference, I'm sure with some time, you can do it. My fat fingers don't really like it, so more than likely, I'm going to stick with the Elite Controller. 
The disc was interesting in Battlefield. I noticed in Battlefield if you press in the corner, it's not happy with you. It won't do anything. <laughs> Bad idea. Stick with standard D for games that you're not going to need that extra sensitivity in the corners. Longer trigger stick, or uh, longer analog stick is definitely much nicer. Okay. A lot more precise for jet flying, for vehicles, for anything. Really, that's probably it. I mean, the I'll mapping of your paddles is to your own preference for sure. I don't know if I'm all for the A, B, Y set that they currently have, but it's not a bad start. What would you rather have your paddles be? I'd probably rather have paddles be uh, reload. So, so X. 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 Spot. Yeah, that's true. Your Switch select. weapons on helicopters and vehicles. Basically, it would take some playing it, around. It would it. take some playing around and figuring out what your playstyle suits it as. Like, I hate that spot can be this because I'll accidentally click it and my guy's like, oh, there's a Russian guy over there. I don't give a crap about that. Um, for reloading, destiny-wise at least, if I can still move, aim, and shoot while I'm doing a revive, that's big for me because yeah, yeah, you're not yeah. a standing target. Same with battle. Or no, not battlefield. Battlefield doesn't work for that. Well, you got your uh, paddles. Gears of War, you do pickups. Yeah, Gears of War. Well, you paddles, but you have to look down at the guy. You can't just yeah. shoot straight up. In which case, and you're, you're running in. Just, you're running in. And you have your paddles <laughs> out. You're not... Right. You don't have a weapon out. Whereas yeah. Gears, you have it out. Right before same you with Battlefield. Out. You just paddles out only. Mm-hmm. I'm curious if I can map this to one of the D-pads for switching between, um, like, a rocket launcher or paddles. You could. Probably can. You yeah, can remap right. everything. So, because that would be kind of nice, because this would mainly be, at that point, then, switching zoom. But even then, you could put zoom on a paddle. Right. And, like you said, that's per what you figure out but, it plays best for you. But between the two... If you were to go out today and drop the money, knowing that you can buy all the extra accessories to add, like, these right. extra paddles, the extra D-pad, and, like, the feel of Yeah, just money, on money no object, let's say. Yeah. Money, which, no object. Which one would you drop today? The overall today feel, on? the overall usability, the overall just um, comfort to my gaming style, I'd have to go with the Elite. For sure. Yeah. I mean, so. it's different. I'm sure if you're a gamer that... You're sitting with your controller way out in front of you constantly. I would imagine the Elite might get annoying. Because it's Because heavy. it is a little bit heavier. You don't notice it at first, but if you're doing an extended gaming session, you're probably going to notice a little bit of that weight on your hands constantly. And you actually probably wear something out doing that, I would imagine. What? Just having it constantly being held weight somewhere on it versus actually so. holding it. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, maybe. if you're holding it like it hasn't a hasn't been long enough for anybody to know. So, yeah. that's the other big thing. I mean, maybe your grip will get a little smoother. Can you do this in between? No, you can't. <laughs> so. So, we got one for the Elite. Elite. Oh, Scuff any day. Okay. Scuff any day. And that just proves everybody has their own gaming style, their own gaming preference. I mean, really, we can talk to you guys and let you know how we feel about any of this kind of stuff, any of our reviews, what we think about games, what we think about controllers, which console we think is better. PCs can suck a dick because they're never going to be the same. It's all about how much money you got to spend and can make them as good as you want. So that really doesn't count because like really, PC. well, great. Everyone PCs likes are their buildable, PC. consoles are optimized. Right. It's basically money for what you want. And for this, unfortunately, we can tell you we both like the Elite. He likes the scuff controller. Right, let's go. Um, unless if you can get your hands on him, it's all hearsay. So in best case scenario, you can go somewhere and you can compare them both or you got buddies who have them, like I've said. But if you're just going off our reviews, if you have like the same grip style that we play with, you'll probably like the Elite controller better. If you like the heavier controller, you like the fast access, you like the hair triggers, you can just switch them if you're going between classes, you'll like the Elite. If you like the heavier button presses, 
if you don't care about the hair triggers, you're only playing games that matter. You want the extra grip. You, you want to, the uh, colors. We can't say that because it comes with adjustable hair triggers. Oh, there you go. Snap it on. Like so right, you but, figure but out it's what not. Is going on? Yeah. Quick, but it, I guess it's, no. It could be because if you look at it, it's really just like an Allen grub screw that's in there. Yeah. So you could just go er, and twist it out, or twist it right back in. I mean, it's not as quick as this oh, hair trigger, well, yeah. but it's considerably quicker than changing a grip. Right. So we'll figure that out. But or you like the extra colors. And you like the heavy buddy button presses. You like them in the middle. Go with the scuff. So, it's all up to you guys, really. So, accessory wise, they all have the same accessories. Two things that are different about them uh, where the paddles are placed and how. Well, three things. So where the paddles are placed, how they press, and then the programs uh, that is exclusively for the lead controller. That and that one's not. a plastic body, that's a metal body. Yeah. So want to put a, so a, you'll a feel, hole you'll in your feel weight. You'll feel, one you'll feel some weight in the weight. <laughs> I think I didn't like I didn't like the weight. Some people actually. Uh, you can also actually on uh, I mean, my scuff. Game chair, I could just sit like this with my yeah. arms propped and I can literally just hold, hold it. Hold it. Yeah. yeah. I, I like the weight. And then yeah. on uh, scuff, uh, if you want to give them, I don't know why you have to pay for it, but you do have to pay. You can give them like five extra bucks to remove your all your rumbles. To remove your rumbles? Yeah. So why would you want Pros, that? actually most pros don't play. It's for the light. Yeah. My controllers. Yeah, that makes Super it light. light. Plus, oh. plus, if you're thinking, if it does rumble and you've got a real light trigger pull on there and it rumbles and your finger does something weird on the trigger, you're going to get a trigger hit or not. Yeah, some rumble. people just don't like rumbles at all. So yeah. instead of having to worry about going to each game and get settings, two things. If you know you don't use a rumble and you don't like the weight, you, just, you can have it removed. Now, I didn't even think about it. Does that still have the vibe in the triggers on that one? Okay. It shows you everyone's too used to it from Xbox. That would bother me. Truthfully, if the scuff didn't have the vibe, I would have to give a negative on the scuff. But you can now, since you can it still has the vibe, that's pretty awesome. You can never remove. Well, the fact that it comes stock with the vibe still. It does. Yeah. 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 I would have imagined that you would have paid extra for it. For so a lot, most people actually do. A lot of people have them remove the paddles. It's crazy. Some people are the other almost because most pros, um, the, well, at least people who do reviews have them removed because. They never have rumbles on, and so they would rather have a lighter control since they have zero rumbling on because it does affect the pull of your triggers. It's just like just the overall shakiness of it, and then if you're aiming, right, and then you control the rumbles, right, it messes with the aim a little bit too sometimes. Th that's what they say. I don't know. I don't really I've notice never it. That's why I leave it. Anything to do with that. Right, but they're of higher caliber. Granted, I don't know. I would miss my rumble triggers because in Battlefield. I think those are necessary. Well, Forza too. Yeah, it's Forza nice. tell you if you can right feel right. you can feel how your car's doing. I like it. That's why I keep my rumbles in because I like it. Yeah. If I don't want them, which I don't have them on in Call of Duty, I have them off. But um, because they just don't care for rumbles. Also, it scares me too sometimes when I get shot from behind me. Also, my control goes. <laughs> 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 All right. But, I'm gonna die. You know what's gonna happen in the future? They're just gonna build controllers with electrodes in them. Shock you a little bit whenever you get shot. Ow! Uh, <laughs> they have like those chest pieces. Have you seen those? Yeah, the rumble the, chest. The rumble chest. KO vest or KD vest, whatever it is. Alright. So, overall review, it's up to you, really. That's up to you. That's just our opinions. We, we try to give it out as much different feels, um, placement wise. Again, if you can't get a hold of it, um, things to think about where your fingers go, how quick and easy you care about it. Um, and, and then just how heavy your hand is. I think it's like some plus your budget too. Your and your budget, right? So it's, it's, it's so it's like accessibility wise, uh, being able to swap things out, where your fingers place, how hard it is to press those, and just budget wise. That's some really good things to think about right there. If you're just like, if you know you're like, dude, I have, I can I can handle really simple presses easy, and things like that too. Or you're like, you dude, I know I have a heavy hand, things like that too. So it's it's always something to contemplate. I hopefully. This is a little bit more extensive versus people who've already just done fair and contrast. Hada hada, we've tried to get some more people in here, here. Different hand sizes. Everybody's different. And, and as you can see, any guy has never played with either of them. Ah, nope. So it's kind of nice. Not to cool. So. Nari! Check us out for more, guys. Like and subscribe. I swear to Christ, you're like and subscribe. You don't. That's what you gotta do. Hold up your thumb. Not that much different. Do it!